Hi, this lesson is going to be on a Lightning Hopkins song called Trouble in Mind. The tuning of the song is in standard tuning, so E, A, D, G, B, E. I've only got my guitar cabled to the second fret because each of my strings are detuned a whole step, so I just need to capo to the second fret to get back to normal. But if your guitar is already in standard tuning, there's nothing you really need to do. And so what I'll do is just go through the song once and then get into each of the sections that the song can be broken up into. Okay, so the first section that the song can be broken up into is just this riff. So for practically the duration of that riff, except for a couple moments, it's pretty much all just open strings plus some fretting on the top string. So on the bottom string, it'll just be a monotone bass line, which you can palm mute with the bottom of your, with the fleshy part of your picking hand. And if you get a bit of the string, the A string there, probably doesn't matter. And then on the treble side, what you'll be doing is kind of sweeping up on the top two strings, so you'll be catching the notes that you're fretting on the top string, and then also a bit of the open second string. And he kind of uses just notes from the major pentatonic scale. So it's like this. Um, starting on the second string actually, open second string, hammer into the second fret, and then you're into the top string. So there's a lot of triplets here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then on each one, there's a pinch. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's really the intro. And on that top string, you're sliding into the fourth fret. landing into the second fret. And remember catching a bit of the second string open on that sweep. And then he adds in a bit of a bass run, which to be honest is not something that you really need to add until later on, but I'll just show it here just for chronological order. It's on the 5th string, 2nd fret, then open 4th string, 1st fret, and then 2nd fret. And then he hits the bottom string open. So he'll go... again. And then he'll go back up to the area that he was already in. That's why um, 
um, I was mentioning that it's pretty much this bass run is kind of just just interrupts this main thing here and then he'll go he'll go get back into those triplets And then he'll go up to the 7th fret, and then back to the 4th fret, and then 2nd fret, open, and then he'll get into the next section, which um, will come up right after this. So. Here is a review of that first section. You got a bit of a pickup. And then you enter it in. Bass run. section. So now the next section is the four chord, which is this. And again, it's kind of nice in its simplicity because it's really just a bar chord across the top four strings, second fret. Just grab with the flat part of your pointer finger. And then you've got a chord here with the bass note on the fifth string open. And then all of those fretted notes. So here, the bass kind of hit will be on the fifth string, which combined with this bar you're playing creates a power chord. On the treble side, what you'll be doing is hitting just the bar on the top string. That's it. And then you fret the fifth fret of the second string. And then catch any accidental notes from the bar. And then you open up that fifth fret note. So you just lift your finger from there, and then the second string just goes straight into the bar. And then you close that fifth fret again. So you're just opening and closing this. And that's really the riff, or the bundle of notes that you'll play twice. that. And just notice the timing of the bass notes and the treble notes. Uh. And then at the end of that, what he'll sometimes do is just finish it off with one of these. So really... It's just a couple sweeps across that bar, but then you add in the third fret of the top string, and then it creates a dominant chord. So you'll do that bundle of notes twice. Then you'll do a couple sweeps of this dominant chord. Okay, and that's the second section. So combining the first and second sections, 
it'll be like this, pick up. first and second second and now here's the third section which is where it gets a little bit maybe it gets a little bit seems a little bit tricky but just um yeah yeah just taking it slow it'll go something like this or four chords that are actually played in that section but the thing is there's so much kind of like toggling back and forth between certain ones that it's almost more of a mind bender than a finger bender necessarily so just taking um taking it one by one what he'll do coming out of the four chords So he'll play one bar of this chord and then one bar of the four chord remember this one with the third fret added so what I would try doing first coming out of the four chord is just strumming the chords for the values that they last for so it'll be let's going let's go back to the second section section. Just strum this chord shape four times. Second fret of the fifth string, first fret of the fourth string, second fret of the third string. Top two strings open. And then the, your next chord is going to be this one. Alright, so just starting from the second section. Section strum. And then you can go back to the uh, E chord, which is second fret of the fourth string, first fret of the third string, bottom string open, mute the fifth string. So it'll be. That's kind of like the outline of it. Now getting into a bit more of the details, it'll look a little bit more like this. So not too much more added there, but coming out of the second section, section, second section, do is you'll land into this chord shape and I think one way that it kind of makes sense to land into it is a little pick up on the third string and then a little pinch which feels a bit natural actually to use the ring finger and the thumb because it's picking that pickup note with the pointer finger and then pinching the top string and the fifth string. 
from this chord shape, remember? And that's just kind of like a weird picking pattern. It's pick up, pinch, pick up, pinch, and then a bit of an anticipated note. Pick up, pinch, pick up, pinch, anticipated note. So, but I mean, you can really play any kind of rhythm there. So then, um, coming out of the second section. Uh, and then, what you'll do is do a little bit of a pickup into the four chord. which is really just a slide into the 4th fret of the 5th string then 2nd fret of the 4th string and then 5th string open and then you're already in position to hit this bar all you need to do is lay your finger down and then add in that 3rd fret of the top string and that's all he does is he goes and then he just combines the bass note and then he lands into the E chord again pick up on the third string and then you can kind of so coming out of the second section with more of those details so you can kind of see how before starting out with just the strums and then getting into the details is sort of like getting it a bit more into focus. So it started out like this. And then so getting it more into focus. kind of the third section and now the fourth section is a just a riff he plays that kind of makes the song it's what he does on the turnaround that's that'll be the fourth section and it's the last section of the song so what you'll do is, it's a bit more of this sort of using these three fingers or whatever fingers that you want but it's just kind of using doing some string skipping and that kind of thing so it starts out on the fourth frets of the fifth string third string and first string so you can see the string skipping there where the picking can be a little bit of a mind bender but just taking it slow to just and just trying to keep it in time it'll start out on the third string where you'll slide into the chord shape and then you'll pinch the fifth and top strings and then the bottom string is still kind of your bass note so you see you still kind of just hit it on the the quarter notes one two three four one you kind of have that sort of feel at least even even um, if you don't always do it but any but you'll start out with that slide pinch and then just hit the top string individually and then hit the fifth string individually 
and then and then it'll just be a move down where you'll hammer into the second fret of the third string and then pinch the fifth and top strings open so it'll start out and then what you'll do is hit this chord shape second fret of the fifth string first fret of the fourth string second fret of the third string open third uh, open second string top string second fret so you've got three kind of chord shapes here one two so with these three chord shapes entire riff. So starting out again on that first chord shape, sliding in on the third string, pinch, individual top string, individual fifth string, and then you go down to the second chord shape, second fret of the third string, bottom, uh, fifth string open, top string open. You can either hit the hammer on or not hit the hammer on. got this chord where you actually do the same thing third string first and then pinch the fifth and top string and then you land into the E string open or E chord in the open position where you'll hammer into starting on the third string again as the pickup hammer into the first fret and then while you're at it add in the second fret of the fourth string and then pinch the bottom string and top strings Now here's where, and now if you've lasted that far, that's great. Now here's where you can kind of um, stumble because he adds in a little bit of an extra thing. Basically he adds in three chords in a short amount of time after what's already been played here. He'll go chord one. Uh, A second chord and then another third chord so that's where it can be a little bit of a mind bender but again not bad if you just kind of take it one by one and almost start out of focus and then get into focus so out of focus it sounds like this out of focus It's just you strumming the general chord shapes or playing just str randomly playing the notes. So it's one, two, three, da, da. So. shapes are this one, second fret of the third string, fifth string open, top string open, and then the E string or E chord, and then the four and then the five chord. Second fret of the fifth string, first fret of the fourth, second fret of the third. So what he'll do is he'll go 
let's start with that uh, four chord here. It's the one with just the second fret of the third string and then fifth string open, top string open. And what he'll do is kind of a general, sort of this is one example of what it might sound like. So it sounds like a lot of notes, but that's because it's really just a chord being played broken. But there's actually only one note being fretted. In that entire thing, it's just this note fretted. I am starting it with a hammer on, so it adds it a little bit of complexity, I guess. But you don't have to. So what it is, is 3rd fret being plucked. And then 5th string, top string. That seems familiar. And then he'll hit the 2nd string open. And then pinch the 3rd and 5th strings. Second, second string and fifth string. Pinched. And then hammer into the first fret of the third string. And then get into the E chord right away. Which is that. But you only get really the maybe the middle four strings. And notice there's that pickup. You start with that third string. One, two, three, and da 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 da. Again, entirely that fourth section is like this. And the whole song, like, with all the sections, sounds a bit like this. on what he'll play um, without a doubt in fact that's just kind of like 70 60 or 70 percent of what he'll do and then around that he'll do little variations and things but that's kind of like a good starting point um, I think and then so there is kind of one thing that's worth kind of mentioning is the way he'll play the turnaround a little differently sometimes. Instead of the instead of doing this, so he, so in, so basically he'll sometimes play that fourth section entirely differently, actually a lot simpler, where he'll just go. coming out of the four chord. So actually it won't be entirely differently because he'll still start um Yeah. Um, 
he'll still have this kind of thing. And then land into the bottom and to, into the E chord. Which you can watch that previous section for. And instead of doing this riff, he'll just go straight into this, this riff. Which is that classic Lightning Hopkins lick where he'll go double stop on the 4th fret of the 3rd string, 3rd fret of the 2nd string, and then hit the top string, string open. And then you can kind of grab it. like a get that harp sound where you'll go tops rake through the top three strings and then hit the third string again with your thumb Descending that double stop. And then you're landing into that five chord. And that's really the one variation that's probably worth mentioning the most. But um, yeah, that's that uh, hopefully gives an idea of Trouble in Mind by Lightning Hopkins. So thanks for watching this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.